You know what? Just run these people off the field. Yes. You understand? Yes. Hit some team seven nil. Ten nil. Kalachi, go beat Kalachi's ten nil. You understand? <laughs> Big bro, um <laughs> I don't want to talk too much about it because we're now um, ascending on window transfer of January where we see clubs um, buying and selling and also releasing players. But yeah, I just saw a news when they're saying uh, there are many contracts because they are on talk right now with the uh, current players and I saw big names there we're talking about Kigan Dolly over there being overpaid because she's Itumulin Kuna being a legend and also on his scandal, you still remember what happened. Mm. So his contract is coming to an end. So on January, if they didn't um, renew his contract, actually, you'll be able to sign with the, uh, the club of his uh, choice. So I'm not considering uh, these big players. I'm not considering, I mean, I'm not, I'm not considering uh, small players, but big players. Mm. You get it? Yeah. So I don't know. What do you say? Um, about the uh, Itumilin Kune's contract. Indeed. Kigan Dolly being Kigan on. Dolly. Yeah, you know, um, Looking looking back at uh, what they have done in their football careers, they've yes. been here for a very long time. Yeah, you see, uh, I don't want to talk about age because that has got nothing to do with <laughs> the men's performance. Yes, you see right. what I'm saying it's it's determination. You understand? It's character, the kind of a man who what what really who is Itumelen Kune? The name, it's in the name. You see. Um, Kigan Dolly must be given one year contract, once one more season contract. Because because you know why? Because he's yeah. been here for a long time. Yes. You give him three years, there is a chance that he can start to sweat. Yes. Some way. Mm -hmm. He can start, you know, wearing out some bones and yes. stuff. As for Itumelen Kuni, he must just go home. Why, bro? He's a legend. Yeah. Legend. That's history. <laughs> you see? He has done something. Yes. That's why he's a legend. And he was paid for. Yeah. He was paid to do that. Yes. So the time is up. He must go. This guy, now he's tripping. Nowadays he's been coming with some alcohol and stuff. <laughs> this guy must go home. You understand? The, yes. He's tired of this game. He's so used to it. Yes. He's at home. He's getting fat. Yes. And now he can't run. Can't do anything. In well, what can you do with, with uh, Itumilin Kune's achievements? He has proved himself over and over. He doesn't need to be there at Kaza Chiefs. He must go home. Okay. Like you said, he's a legend. Yes. He has done so much. So Kaza Chiefs doesn't owe him anything. Even himself. He doesn't owe Kaza Chiefs anything now. Even um, the fans. He has done so much, man. At the club level, at the uh, national squad level, the guy is super great. It's time for him to hang up the boots. So go home. Go to your farm, whatever it is, look after your kid. This just beautiful retirement. <laughs> Retire while you still no, are. I, I think, um, as you say, that uh, you need to go home and try to do something. It's very clear that even for Kigan Dolly, we can talk about the age, but I feel like Kigan Dolly's situation is similar to Kama Billiard because you still remember Kama Billiard what happened to him. Yeah, yeah. Um, too much injuries, you get it, yeah, yeah. and also. You are not performing, you are overpaid, you get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, did you think that it deserves also a salary cut? Uh, Kick and Dolly. Yeah. yeah that, that can, uh, I, I'm not outruling it. Yes. They can do that if they, they're willing to keep him. And at, at the same time, I'm, I will advise them, guys, just give him one season contract. With the same, with the same. Um, it can be the same salary, it can be a same, it can be a salary cut. I'm not sure what the, what, what the feeling is uh, towards uh, Kick and Dolly. Yes. You understand? Yes. So he, he's a seasoned player, mm. you see what I'm saying? Yes. And even I see his form is not really up to par, but I can't compare him to K to uh, Kama Bilat. Kama Bilat was just plain useless. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? He must go. Uh, Kike and Dolly, they can keep him, maybe salary cut or something, I'm not sure. Okay, I, I think it's very clear. Let's go to this uh, news which we saw talking about Safa now changing some requirements for foreign coaches. They're talking about coaches uh, to um, have a, a calf license, maybe winning a trophy in the last seven years, and also the plan of uh, requirements. Safa now uh, changing uh, their rules of foreign coaches. Do you think it's a good idea? That's a problem. When a sport group, a sport association, yes, is actually aligned to a political party, this is what happens. Bringing in politicians, yes, to run 
Yes. You understand? Yes. Something that is actually happening at free will. Yes. Like sports. Yes. So much freedom in there. Yes. Now you're bringing in politicians to run that for you. Because when you look at SAFA, Deni Joda, that's ANC. So many guys, Mulifi Olifant, all those, whoever is in there, all those guys, they are hired by their friends to sit there. Now they are coming with some kind of textbook HR. You, you must have a, a license to do what? You must say, they, this is sports. What's next? They're going to tell players, come with a diploma. <laughs> come with metric before you. You can't sign that guy. He's not educated. Yes. This is sports. You understand? Yes. Sports. There is no school that teaches sports. No one can teach you to be a good striker. A good, a good coach. You can have... You it's, understand? It's, it's in your bloodstream. Yeah, too. okay. What are we going to do now here? Yes. To work for SAFA. You're going to have to have coached a certain team. Okay, let's fire Danny Jordan then because he never coached anyone. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I don't know how this... Come on, guys. Safa, yes. it's about time they disband this nonsense. Yes. It's just like BEE. Yes. Disband that nonsense. It's wasting our time. NSL was... Uh, the, way, the way... You must understand. That was apartheid. Yes. It's sports. Yes. You get what I'm saying? We're going to push this as sports. It's done. These guys, you want to run your own thing? Do it. It's black. Soccer was all, has always been too much black. You understand? A few players here and there, few white people, some kind of Indians, Abu Bamji, back in NSL. Safa came in with the black regime. Yeah. And he took over the government. You started to see people that are politicians in sports. You see what I'm saying? So now you are, it's like almost, like every time I listen to them, it's like aristocrats politicking with diplomats. I, I don't understand what's going on here. You get what I'm saying? You don't, you are not going to, I'm higher, I'm the team. I'm yes. the team. Whoa, whoa, what's going to happen? Kizam Tawu must go and get a degree for him to own a team now. Yeah, it might you be can't, going You can't there. own a team if you don't have this book, if you don't have this certificate. Because now they are saying coaches must come with certain uh, uh, uh qualifications. qualifications education meaning they are they are maybe they are licensed for yes, coaching yes. you must have been from a classroom because that is the thing can you teach somebody dribbling in a classroom you can't do that yes there is no formula for that it's it's not even scientific it's not even uh, mathematical <coughs> look that thing is just pure talent no one can teach you talent, bruh. Yeah, that's passion, true. Passion, you can't that's go true. to university and get passion. Yes, fact. You, you have passion before education. Yes. So, um, is, uh, as you are still there on Safa, we're talking about, uh, which uh, Lucas Hadebe, when he also said that he need an, uh, a seat there in uh, Safa. It's, what do you say? It's long overdue. Okay. This man has to be, yes. Tart of seeing the same face for 100 years, man. <laughs> you understand? But we never lived for 100 years, bro. Yeah, what I'm saying is <laughs> what, what, these guys are not moving out. Can't you see what's going on? Their political party runs the country, so they yes. are there as well. Yes. We need people who know soccer. You understand? These guys, none of them know soccer. None of them played professional anywhere or represented a squad anyway. I've never heard of Danny Jordan look, playing any soccer. Look at, at Mutipe is there on Kef. Yeah, he's, you understand? This is what I'm telling you. This is Africa. <laughs> in Africa, it's like this. You bring yes. these people in, your association starts to deteriorate. We had a beautiful soccer during NSL. Yes. You know those days we didn't have televisions? Yes. We'll take a small radio. Mm. You find your father putting it against... My father used to put it against his ear. Yes. And the volume will be like full blast. Yeah. He Enjoying what is... Every, yeah, yes. every word. And he will react as if he, he's watching, watching from a TV. Yeah, yeah, fair. He can imagine... It will come out like that. Yeah. You'll see that... In, uh, some... You understand? Some picture. Imaginary picture. You understand? That was soccer. How strong soccer was. Nowadays... Yeah, no but I, I, I think what you're saying, it's... Uh, okay, it, it, it shows me a clear picture that um, there, especially on Safa, we really need uh, legends who knows football. If a player is suffering from this thing, he must be solved like this because they have been there. They have been there, You bro. understand? And they have been managed by yes. other managers yes. who played, played the football. sport. Yes. 
This is why you hear now people saying, ah, you need to have that license. You should have won something when you have to go to court. And always, Bofan Bofan always crying after maybe uh, unpaid salaries, saying that yeah, there's no money Who's there. running the club? You, you get it. That's why it's I saw even uh, Jabulo Blom last yeah. time he said that he's not feeling well while well, he played a match uh, there in in USA. And uh, Buko Proskab said that, ah, no, I don't understand why Blom is doing like that. Maybe... He's, it's about the salary. It's about being him not paid because there's someone else there on the city sitting over there. He doesn't know how important how important for a player to play for international. What is it inside his heart? Yes. What is he giving? Because yes. he never experienced that thing. And you must know also these guys. They since that they never they haven't played professional. Yes, they have jealousy for these young boys going abroad. Their children are not going there. Somebody else's child come out of the ghetto go to overseas. You think they are not gonna be jealous? They will be jealous. And I saw, I saw the call up of Fana Bafana, uh, right now, primary squad, which was released by Ogo Bros. I saw Ngezana is there, bro, and I'm like, mm, okay. great, great. And Jay Ngezana's form is just uh, ridiculous. ridiculous. Yes, it's, it's amazing. The the guy's doing great and stuff. And he's also wanted there in League One, man. Yeah, from I saw Romani. I saw that. So um, the big money move. Sky's the limit. Yeah, fact. You understand? Yes. For, for the boy. Yes. You know what I'm saying? You know what? These guys are just going to flourish overseas. I can't wait for... Who is that, my man? Uh, Mudao. Yeah, I can't wait for that guy to also go overseas and start showing us stuff. Yes, I think the guy's very good. Um, Tembazona, he's long overdue. Yeah, this guy is supposed to be somewhere else. Yes. You understand? I'm not sure what was the, um, the agreement is between mm. them and their employer. Yeah, but actually, uh, Timbazone, I wish he went overseas, but because of his age right now, it's, it's, it's uh, impossible. You know what? You know what? It's fine. It's fine. Well, what is he? 30? 33. 33. No, man. There is a chance, man. Uh, only one yeah. season, bro. It doesn't matter, man. Depends on the... Uh, look, if what Tempazone you are capable can, to do. Yeah, if he turns around and start doing the magic... You know those guys; they will just take. It. Yes, fact. But uh, bro, uh, <clears throat> what do you say about Kevin Jensen uh, given the whole season right now? Is yes, I applaud it. <laughs> I, yes. He's one of my favorite guys. Yes. Um, look, so far the white guy just came in, right? Yes. We must give him a chance. We haven't seen this magic get Kaja Chiefs yes. in eight years. Yes. You see, <laughs> Kaja Chiefs will win one game and lose four. Yes. Draw one game and lose another. <laughs> you understand? Yes. It's a stiff compare. Yeah. <laughs> so right compare. now, is he, we check on his stats right now is, since he took uh, over Kaja Chiefs with five games, winning three of them consecutively. We're talking about consecutively. Yeah, yeah. Winning three games and also Two draws, a uh, true two lose, which was the first two games. That was the first two games. Yes, yeah. and then now he's trying to yeah to sink the guys in. So everything as doing. they say that they're going to um announce a new coach when it comes to the end of the season, and the new coach will, will be with the uh, players on the preseason. Do you think Kevin Johnson will be given the job, or else they will bring they, another coach? I'm not sure. It will that will depend on his performance. Yes. This part. So this is the uh, time where they want to see if he can be yeah. a coach. Yes. What he what he should do. He has to identify the guys that can really go out and kill. The guys that breathe fire. Just identify those guys yes. and now start building a squad. And, uh, uh, you know what I like here again? Again, They give him a chance while there's a window period on January. You you what I'm yeah, so you'll be able to out pick there, out yes. which one is the best and yeah, you can go. Yeah. You understand? Yes. So I think that was a good uh, move for Kaysam Taun because he was the one to announce that I want to read from Far Post. You get it? Yeah. And at the moment, I don't even think they need any, to buy anyone. They can just reach back into their own pockets. Go to development. Yes. Bring out the, those young boys. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm. I think this preseason, he can just try to, you know, gamble with those little boys. Bring them to a bigger squad, to an older squad. You understand? Yes. And But the, the most important thing for him this festive season yes. is to identify his great goal scorers, his snipers. And now start build squad around these guys. Yes, you see what I'm saying. Yes. You have a good goalkeeper so far. Yes. So far, Kaiser Chiefs they are good with goalkeepers. Yeah. Get your mid, uh, your your defense right, your midfielder right to feed your you, attack. Yes, you see what I'm saying. Yes, he, that's where he should be sitting right now. Yes, you understand. Mm. I know he's gonna pop some champagne somewhere. I'm not sure what they're gonna do. So, <clears throat> uh, let's just close by this topic of Mamel Sundowns that dominating their eleventh win yesterday against uh, Cape Town Spurs, uh, winning with three nil. They were and just going to win. <laughs> yeah, just give it. To so, me. um, it seems like the league is on its way to be over because. 
right now Mamelodi Sundowns on 33 points. Yes. You understand? Yes. And they are still get, they having three games in hand. S- Sundowns they're supposed to be 46 points up, man. I don't know why they are they just let these guys go. They must <laughs> just kill them. You know what? Just run these people off the field. Yes. You understand? Yes. Hit some team 7 nil. 10 nil. Kalachi go beat Kalachi 10 nil. You understand? <laughs> go beat Pirates 7 nil. Yeah. I love my baka baka. Beat. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? They can do it. But actually, let, let, let's they let, have a good squad. Let, yeah, 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 yeah. No, everyone always uh, adore that that they have got a good squad. But I think they're also getting tired, and it's tiring that they don't have even uh, four days or three days of rest. There is a match after match after. So I think they they have more players. They have many, many. Yeah, yeah. Players. Like yesterday, they played ten different players which yes. never played. Everyone was on the uh, and they still won. Y- you understand? And they still won. Yes. So. Uh, this this if you think the uh, the league is over guys you can comment in the comment section and tell, uh, tell us what do you think uh we'll see you on next uh, lovely video peace